Okay, thank you so much. Right. So we have the Empire of Aquitaine, which is kind of smaller, but at least now contains Aquitaine. Right. Now, my plan is to go to war with those things that aren't part of the Empire of Aquitaine. This is before I've on pause, so I'm not taking advantage of the bug because no one has left the defensive pact yet. Um, so I plan to go to war with anyone that's not part of the defensive pact against me, although it does look like most people are. Um, if I can, you know, manage it to get back the bits of Aquitaine that aren't currently mine. So, uh, right. what about kingdoms? Right, well, let's see, are there any weak claims? The Duchy of Witcher is... I can't go for Leon, it's the weak claim. So I can go for Fezzan. Where the... She's down here in Africa, good lord, right? Maybe not. Uh, and it's not currently in existence, so that's kind of entertaining. Okay, she's part of the Christian Defensive Pact. Which is part of the Defensive Pact. Right, well, okay. Can I expand my empire? What, what have I got left? Have I got any bits to give away? No. Is there anywhere that's good that I can go for? I can go to the Kingdom of Pechenegs for one of my vassals, which would work. But she's still part of the defensive pact, god damn it. Right. So I have ten thousand troops and no money and one ally who is actually not too bad. Uh so Probably don't want to take on the Byzantine Empire, certainly not for just a county. Mali is a possibility. Sinai, no. 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 Part of the Defensive Pact. Part of the Defensive Pact. Could go up against England because they have no money, but that's only for a county. Although I might see if I have some other claims that you know are working. Sweden's part of the defensive pact. France is actually quite terrifying. Uh, let's not go to war with France, even though they have an entire duchy. Sweden is part of the defensive pact. Navarra is not part of the defensive pact. a small bit of the thing, so that's often is a possibility. Uh, so. Okay, one claim on them, which is Norfolk, which is boring. So, do we have any good claims on Britannia? No, we don't. How very disappointing. All right, Scotland. <coughs> oh, Jesus. Mm, unfortunately, she's far too female. Normally, is part of the defensive pack. I 
as you can walk me and don't have a claim against them. Fine. Can you be scarier than me? Right. Have a look at Sicily. Sicily is much scarier than me. Let's have a look at Pisa, though. I strongly suspect that Pisa is also much scarier. Pisa is about the same as me, but has more money. Do I have a really good claim? No. So, I think they have much more that they're already in a war with someone else. So, okay, let's go to war for Navarra. Set back to rounds. Zoom in a bit. I'm going to basically have to raise all of my levies. At least let's rain all, raise all of my vassal levies. And have your capital on the coast, this would help. Right. Now I have this brief moment of going, excuse me, where the hell are all of my troops? Because I don't know anymore. Invite my allies into this wall and look at everyone leaving the defensive pact against me. Let's insert you on a ship and ship you off to Aquitaine. Excellent.
something has happened to my commanders. Okay, you are acceptable as a commander. I will not go commander shopping right now. Yeah. He stopped being a bishop. God damn it. What? That's very inconvenient. You can see here it says, oh you can't see here because you're not plugged in, um, that um, it's Aquitanian war for Bishop Pio's claim on Navarra, but he's not a bishop now. <laughs> damn it. It's the usual bishop for fighting one another. Probably, but I don't know. He's not a bishop anymore. And I don't currently have any titles. I can't afford to build any <laughs> holdings, so... <laughs> so you can win the war or offer a white beast. Peace. And go, Look, I'm sorry. Yeah. <coughs> I mean, I feel um, I should win the war. To murder the yet former bishop, and then it'll then it'll um, then the case of Belheim will become invalid. Uh, I mean, winning the war will get you some prestige. I think it's worth winning the war because if nothing else, he'll then be an independent count, and that will be a lot easier to go. Yeah, you might after. then just be able to offer him um, vassalisation. Is he the same culture as you? That's a good question. Uh, okay, he's he's now court chaplain of Galindia. He's Portuguese and a Cathar, so mm. probably not. I can try. Because he'll like me a lot yes. at that point. Because uh, um, I'll have, you know, one one is thing for him. And look, we are heat sieging a 7.5 fort. If you wish to pass me a HDMI cable, I call you a stoat. <laughs> or possibly a weasel. These revolting bishops are a problem. Because it's like I deliberately picked this because he was a suitable vassal. Weasel. TV controller. He's become an unbishop. Oh, oh, right. Why is he unbishop? I don't know. I missed that. Mm -hmm. well, lots of people are joining the defensive pact against me because I've gone to war, as per usual. I'm going to change channel to make it actually see something. It's certainly it's theory. It's there to think. Yeah. Dangerous stars. Astounding. Oh, I found an opposing army, oh, uh, which I could, I suppose, eventually go and fight, but I'd rather thin them out a bit first.
Oh dear, I'm down another commander. Right, well it's time to go commander shopping everybody. Yes, we will take some money so that you can marry bits of Venice. Well, let's recruit a holy warrior. It might turn out to be useful. So we have 11% war squad, oh, excellently, their war in Spain is going terribly, Spain, I mean, uh, thingy, you know, North Africa is going terribly, which is for the best way, but there we are. Well, let's persist in besieging things. Besieging things still boring. Let's make the lights flash slightly for our stop the ground so that besieging things still boring. Let's oblige the vassal to not be conspiring against me. Right, okay, that means so wise we should now be down to just this faction what can we moved stagger our way through besieging Vizcaya and oh, no, sorry we're besieging Victoria now having besieged Iran uh, that's given us 47 percent of the score that's nice now we're besieging San Sebastian uh, that's good Hooray! Uh, I've converted some bits back to Catholicism. Proselytize. Uh, oh, my wife is pregnant. That's nice. I'm going towards the amount where I could in theory build more holdings, but in practice it would be very dicey economically. So, well, my allies have come to help me. I mean, it's still not an assaultable number, but you know, it should make the sieging go very slightly faster. Have you got an ally? Uh, Duchy of Fez. Right. Right, let's misinterpret the signs regarding my wife's ominous pregnancy. <laughs> so 
So that's the mass you intake is up 60%. Oh, I have snuffed it. I have a new air. If I grant, die now, I will play as the oh, right, yes, of course. <laughs> um. Right, well, the defensive pact opposing we had briefly been. Right, so Empress Pierre has, Emperor Pierre rather, has given up the ghost at age 58. He died a natural death. Never succeeding in making a name for himself, Pierre's pet, missing a apostrophe there, most notable deed was participating in the construction of the great works which he will never see finished. That's not true, I didn't construct any great works. I just, you know, like inherited one back after there was an incident with, with a crusade. Empress Alienor, an accomplished diplomat, vassals and foreign rulers are like a short respecter. Long live Empress Alienor. Right, so let's go and see what we have available to us. Right, well, let's upgrade the thing that I just. Hey, I paused. So I'm, mi I'm now missing a bunch of claims and I don't have any strong claims on anywhere. Right, so uh, what have we got in our pockets? Is uh, air is our son, Prince Tuma of Aquitaine. But of course, you are in an elected kingdom, empire. I am in an elected Which empire. Uh, he's still a bit young to know how he turns out. Right, so anyway, things that we ought to do are sort of and elect a nominate a successor. So, possibilities are Anna, my niece, who's an excellent diplomat and a bit indifferent at any other things, my son, who is uh, imprisoned by someone. Who's fine except for catastrophic diplomacy. Apart from catastrophic diplomacy. Excuse me while I work out who... Hey, well, I accidentally nominated him, but I'll go and unnominate him. What about his wife? Mm, okay. But no, probably not. Um... There's two marking of Brittany, but he's also really old. There's Henri Prince of Aquitaine, who at least has... He's got decent stewardship, but not anything else. Again, catastrophic diplomacy. And catastrophic diplomacy. Um, I think Anna. <laughs> well, let's try to go with my niece. Right. Two children like a guardian, Matilda, my daughter. Uh, let's get her. Let's assign him a guardian. I think it should probably be me. Um, right, ambitions. I can improve my martial ability and troop my intrigue. Let's improve my martial ability. Um, so, let's check that I have treasures equipped. Yes, I do. So, my in good reef. Uh, right. Taylor is my Chancellor. Yep, you should be my Marshal. You should be my Steward. You should be my Spy Master. And you should be my Court Chaplain. Do we have any dangerous factions? No, we still have King Tuma of Aquitaine. Alright, fine. Researching military technology. Let's get you researching the economy. Let's get you scheming up there to try and stop that thing. And you get to proselytize somewhere out of an aquitaine. And 
Okay, so. Right. And uh, my niece is my heir. Let's just check. I know there's a defensive pact against me already. Uh, well, I'm quite threatening. Uh, yeah, you're still annoyingly have become unlanded, and I have no holdings other than the ones I've just inherited from my predecessor. How very inconsiderate of him. I suppose they're distant enough that I'm not going to fuss so much than when, you know, my aunt was trying to marry my half-brother or whatever it was. Everyone's joining the defensive pact against me. Oh, congratulations, you've converted Armagnac. However, I can't move you anywhere for like six months, so you better sit down there and enjoy the brandy. Well, the Armagnac anyway. Uh, let's sit down outside the uh, 6.5 Fort of Eibar, which will take a little while. Well, my opponent's army is nowhere to be seen. I wonder if that's because they're on a boat going to Aquitaine. Uh, well, I guess I'll find out eventually. Ooh, France is uh, suffering some problems from the Holy Roman Empire. Nah, right. all these posthumous children. Of course, I don't get to name him because uh, <laughs> he's not my son. Everyone's joining the defence pact against me. Right, you my niece. Can we arrange you a good betrothal? Like to the King of Persia. Siege, whatever that was, that's seventy three per cent. On to the next county. At which point we six out, sit down outside a six point five fort. Yay. I have a feeling that my kingdom's going to oscillate back and forth between being Cathar and not Cathar for a while. Let's fight the drunken peasants to try and improve my martial ability. Right, well, I lose 15 prestige, but I gain one martial, which, you know, is an improvement. My plan is to 
conquer the stuff in this county, conquer the stuff in this county, and then wander down and see if I've got enough of an army to oppose what's left down there on the grounds that I don't think they're going to be gaining troops very fast either. Well, that's making him ambitious. Here's my son. And if he turns out good, he can potentially be elected. Ruler. Uh, right, well, we've cheered up King Tuma a bit. How are we doing factionally? Woohoo! He's up to one, one point of liking me. Uh, can we now move uh, respected? You think Lothar, our commander of Aquitaine, fancies you? Uh, yeah, go on. Anyway. Score. Well, uh, I'm pregnant. That's nice. It's not my husband's. <laughs> Small detail. Oh dear, I've got difficult pregnancy. Well, let's. Exactly am I married to anyway? This is a good question. Okay, he's just this right this guy you know. Right. Uh, let's invest in some siege equipment. Let's invest in some improved keeps. And let's invest in some noble customs to cheer up my vassals. Um, Well, tough that you're on landed. I don't have any titles to give you. I suffered a small problem at the end of my last reign, or what? Last reign, but one. Uh, yeah, I mean, now you're uh, you have elected succession, so you won't have nearly such a problem with that. Well, I've got a hundred percent more score, so let's enforce my demands and lose this nice thing to an independent chieftain. And let's wander off there. Um, securing the knowledge that states are involved. And let's perhaps involve, get involved in a little Unfortunately, I can't make him a viceroy because he needs to have this thing. Where, 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 over the eight-year-old who does hate me and the actual grown-up who doesn't like me at all. Right, there we go. Right, so you have arrived in Toledo. Right. Mm. 
not that threatening, which is good, but let's engage in a little vassal fettling. Right. You don't particularly like me. Right, heretic. Right, I'll deal with that in a moment. Can I demand conversion? No. Fine, can I? You've already got honorary title. Damn it, that wasn't the thing I wanted to do. Duma. Heretic, not enough to convert. He's already got a minor title. You can, oh, you're a child, I can't get you to convert. Um, can I give you a honorary title though? Like Gulf Bearer, yes I can. So, this lot. Ooh, you're actually the same religion as me. Uh, can I give you a small thing? Oh, you've already got my title, but I didn't spot. So, do, do, do. Uh, let's order you an honorary title. You can have horses. I don't have any honorary titles I can give you. No voice right back. See if you'll convert. You'll convert. Brilliant. Okay. So there should be a couple of people converting. Right. Dangerous factions. Oh, it's good old tumor. So my plan here is to wait for a bit for my vassal levies to recover somewhat, possibly wait a while, but definitely wait at least until I um, stop being pregnant. So Frank de Protu is uh, my random kinstoat. Let's assign him a guardian. Let's assign him a pointy sticks guardian. And as my levies increase, uh, sun. Excuse me, I just need to go and look at my family tree. This will be my realm tree. Um is a good one, isn't it? Right. Okay, he's a perfectly ordinary child, fair enough. It's not for me or anything. Um faction thing as well as getting a vassal level who's back to something sensible. Right, let's make my son just. We like just children. Uh, oh dear, something's happened to my spine monster. Do I have anyone good? Ha 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 ha. Lol. No. Let's invite you to court.
so I'm also Catholic and I probably move my guide somewhere else to proselytise because everywhere is going Catholic quite quickly Ask our vassal politely not to form any things. Oh, well, well, I've pissed off thingy. Right, fine. Well, I'll leave my chancellor on cheering up duty. I will send my spy master off in four months' time to research some technology. Uh, so, how are we doing? Vassals are recovering. Let's see if we can get that to zero before we get to the next war. Let's talk to my niece about being diligent. Right. Uh, you're my niece, you're number six. Sorted out the children. Or the child. Right, let's encourage my niece to be patient and not ruthful. commanders again but fortunately I have a good one lying around which is my son uh, so claim Pechenex for myself because damn it I want some kingdom bits to be able to give out to people. Right, so uh, we have declared war on them. There is also a large Pechenex revolt. Uh, okay, so
I don't want you to load into that fleet. It's got too many people in it. Let's disembark here. Right, fine, let's send those 40 ships out there. Let's stuff you lot in there. ship you over there. You not and wander over there. Ready for a fun trip. Okay, actually let's send you down here for that. Oh cook over there to there. Complain once again that Ireland are completely incapable of raising their people on the coast and that our first move every single sodding time has to be to like persuade them to go on a little trip. <laughs> right. I've inherited the Kingdom of Ireland. Do not like me. Let's go and see why you hate me that much. Right. Okay, that's a lot of reasons to hate me. Okay, the island itself is not much use. Is there anyone here who doesn't hate me quite that much? Like you, the Duke of Munster. Right, let's make you Viceroy. Ireland. Uh, let's discover I'm out of commanders again. Sit there and wait for somewhere to come and see you've already demonstrated a revolt, and that's nice. You've arrived in Dublin. Let's insert you on a ship. Oh no, I can't, I can't, I can't. Let us in fact ship you. Damn it. Stupid things. Let's ship you, in fact, over here. And we can send some ships back in a bit. Do you want to go out in the bottom?
Ooh, we won that battle. But let's glue together. Let's wander away from the nice large Pechenids army that I am kind of scared of. Um, so hang on, you can take 1400. So you should go over here. And we can pick up some troops. You not get going over there. Either in Odessa, that's good, and we've got a couple of people following you. Well, we should not be eating armies, but whatever. Right, so we have 40 galleys, which we can send back to Narbonne. Right. It's less of a, you know, cross a swift sweat ferry service and more of an excruciatingly slow one. Um, but you know we have a ferry service. Right, let's glue you together and maybe put some different people in charge. Do we have anyone that can actually besiege anything? No. Fine, All right, I'll leave that as as it is. It's not a bad set of people. Stay away from you. And uh, let's ship you over here. Send you on all expenses paid trip to the Black Sea. Right, we're starting to get up to a point where I'm not so worried about the revolt that's just next door, although it's not like great yet. But uh, nothing terrible. Is, is, is happening here. So, we do have enough war score to not worry about battles at the moment. Now we have a credible force hanging around there. Right, yes, my niece is ambitious, that's good. Why am I losing so much money? Did I accidentally raise my... No, I didn't raise my domain, not... That's oh, my fleet levies. Okay, well, like, I can dismiss most of my fleet levies, so... Because I can always re-raise re a bunch of them if I need to ship some of those troops back. Let's at least dismiss that lot. Mm. Right. Okay. I suspect you've raised your domain fleet. fleet. yes. It's hard not to. Um. Right, anyway, we spotted that before we did too much economic damage. Right, on to the next county. My plan is to try and ignore the revolt that's around unless I can't get enough war score um, with it being there. My plan is to try and win this siege and then go and kick that army over there. It may not work. Stick Alfred in there so we can at least move quickly when the time comes. Right, 
minutes. I believe the marriage can happen. Right. One child, next guardian. That's random kin state. Side guard. Regent. What do we want? Bratislav. Let's zip over there. Oh, yeah. Commander. Do I have any good commanders? Well, no. Can I recruit any commanders that aren't completely hopeless? Turn Ermin go into great midget. So that's taking us up to 42%. Let's zip over there and see if we can. Oh, 31 cash. She's a random courtier. I'll take 31 cash. Um, Oh, there's three places to besiege here. Wow. Party time. Oh, excellent. People are fighting each other. My hope is really to try and, like, win my war before the others win their war. So at any point where anyone is, you know, busy fighting other people, I'm grand. Um... Unfortunately, Ermengel, my son, has become an underhanded rogue, but, eh, worse things have happened. Okay. Well, my... Sun is now my heir. Well, I guess it could be worse. But he's not terrible. <laughs> I'd still prefer, you know, a rather better woman over a slightly indifferent son, but I understand that. Right, okay, my niece is now my heir again. Uh, yeah. that's, that's nice, dear. Right, forty-seven percent. Teutonic order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Let's besiege coming up. Okay, we're oscillating. <laughs> Let's talk to my niece about kindness. It seemed to work. Shut up, court chaplain. Just tell me when you've converted the county. Right. <sighs> <laughs> Fine, I'm going to go and change my vote to my son because this is annoying me. Uh, well, if you prefer to have her, why not? Well, <laughs> she's... He's not obviously worse. Um, you know, he's a bit worse at diplomacy, but he's a bit, a bit better at most other things, so... Yeah, 
Yeah, I think he'll do. He's also got, you know, good character traits, so. Um. Mostly the oscillation is annoying me. I like stability in my realm. Obviously I'm absolutely 100% terrible at achieving this. Right, 59% more score. Uh, okay. Let's obligate the vassal to not participate in factions. Right, okay. Uh, factions. Okay, so that should disappear in a second. Or two. Right, we currently don't have any factions. So, right. Study technology in Constantinople. Find my uncheeriest vassal. Which is the King of Brittany and leave you there to cheer him up. Okay, we can do that. Okay, well, fine, I have a plan. Right, off we go. Over there. Do you fight whoever it is that that is, which is probably the right army? Looks like probably the right arms on a good day. Right, that's taken us up to 81% more score. Five percent more score. Designated region. Guardian, Sun Guardian. Right. Right. Okay, so he thought that despite winning, losing like the last three battles rather than us winning them, that you know, you come besiege and walk straight into another battle. Okay. I mean, you know, that's courageous. And I mean this. Aha, uh -huh, excellent. 100% more score. I release the otter. Right. The otter is notorious. Can we disband? No, excuse me. Let's unpause, make it the 3rd of January, and disband the unit. Right! And that should improve something somewhat. The one thing it's not going to improve at all is my threat. <laughs> so. 
I need to lose Petronix on succession. Uh, I now have two unlanded sons. Yes, I know. And my vassals kind of hate me right now. So let's wait for my vassal levies to recover a bit. And let's see if there are any people in the vicinity who don't completely hate me. Right, you don't completely hate me, and you'd like the Kingdom of the Petronix. Well. Converted van. Let's see. Let's uh, get proselytizing. You friends, ladies. I'm 69% threatening, but that's fine. I don't plan to go to war against any defensive pacts. Um, we can go to war with Nail once we've recovered some levies because I think we can recover a lot of levies but, however what can we I think we can build a new castle, which is going to drain us a lot, but will give us a little bit more flexibility in the months to come. That's fine, we're mostly doing relatively well. So I probably have the problem that Lael has joined the Defence Pact against me, but I'll deal with that when I come to it once I deal with everything else. So, right. Let's zip back to my military, arrange my total strength, and see if we can give him anything good. Oops. So, my story island currently really loves me. Uh, yeah, I can't do anything good for you. Petronix, my story currently really loves me. Can't do anything to improve him. He's already keeping swans. Uh, she's a heretic. I still can't ask you to convert. Right. Okay, so. Only court chest, right? Well, no. Right, so I think that's my vessels. Uh, well, let's just check that there's no obvious ones going. Please transfer me vassals or that are up like you, for example.
So if he becomes a detached priest when he's mildly useless. Some people have left the defensive pack, but mostly people are joining the defensive pack for some reason. No idea what that might be. Right, you are a courgette of Aquitaine, you're my nephew. Can we arrange your betrothal with anyone of fun? Well, Grand Princess of Bryansk is good, and she's also quick, so yeah. You are a good target, we would quite like you. Let's assign you a guardian. Let's assign you a guardian that's extremely competent with pointy sticks, like my marshal. Okay. So, let's let my vessels chill for a bit. And, you know, recover my levies. Okay, we've converted some more people, that's good. Where can we proselytize now? Leinster. Pope has died, long live the Pope. Although, of course, there won't be a crusade for approximately one billion years, because the last one was against me. Well, well against my predecessor. Against all, yes. The last Last but one, Emperor. Indeed. It's all got rather entertaining. Oh, I see that England and Sicily were once owned by the same person, but now they haven't, and now there's all kinds of funny stuff, like <laughs> like London is now owned by... Um, Gain gold or gain prestige. Let's gain gold. I don't have any. Oh, well, people are leaving the defensive pack. That's nice. More stuff for the Teutonic Order and the endangered frontier in Egypt. Whatever. Hey, Peace is drawing the defensive pact against me. I've been sending like most of my uh, courtiers there. All right, I can't give you a new job for another few days. Right, let's try and un unstoke my little stickling. Is there anywhere left that you need to proselytize? Like that bit of aquatone up there, for instance. Right. So we're building a new holding in thingy, which is good. And Gain charitable, right? Let's become charitable. Cost me a bit of money, but boosts my diplomacy. Yeah. Let's 
do that. Should have traded someone, but presumably he snuffed it. Infant mortality is a problem. Although there seems to be far less of it than there really ought to be. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, I have died in childbed once or twice, but considering the number of times I've played a woman, this is quite rare. Turned out weird. Mm. Hooray, I've got a castle I can give away, so that's good. I've become Baroness of Prisagria. Pris what? That's nice, dear. I'll give it away as soon as possible so I don't have to try and pronounce it again. Um, so. Still unhappy. We need to wait a bit longer to cheer them up. I will also lower our threat, which is currently over 50%, which is kind of terrifying. Uh, although I did just win an entire kingdom, and in fact, quite a large entire kingdom. Right, there's a Peasant revolt. Hello, pedants. Right, we can send you a note that says even when we were busy having like an entire stupid war stupidly with stupid people, we still, and oh, this is important, managed to. What? Where the hell are you going? Weird people. Right. Managed to. Um, you know. Okay, right. Okay. Let's get you quick stepping up there to go and squash that pet revolt. But anyway, even when I was busy losing my kingdom, still pet revolts didn't even manage to, you know, squash me. So Right, let's read the Cathar Bible. It's not like this hasn't happened eight million times before. Right, Prince Balisor, my son. Let's see, can we arrange him? Oh, go on, let's betray them to a princess of the Mongol Empire. Because, you know, I think that would be hilarious. I'm probably not going to ally with the Mongol Empire because I'm sure that they'll come and, you know... <laughs> right, I can become Cathar, but since I've just gone to a lot of effort to convert back to Catholicism... Uh, well, you haven't gone to much effort, you just accidentally... And your, your successor is Cathar. Yeah, but... Oh no, your, your successor was Cathar, isn't it, your current one is? I have no idea, I will go and check on that at some point. Well, in a minute, once I've moved my troops into... So, my son is also Catholic, so... I probably shouldn't convert to Catharism, and in any case, I'd quite like to be able to go on the next crusade. Right. Right. Let's look up here. Right. Let's squash the pedant revolt, dismiss the army, wait a few months for those to decay, and see. If there's anyone we can go to war with who's not completely terrifying. Uh, so, Leon and Poland are the main ones to think of here. Ah, oh, Poland has disappeared again. I assume that was a temporary thing. Well, I've broken up with my lover, which is probably for the best. So, Leon, maybe, is where I'd like to go next. Well, I see, see that the independents have 
fish of water that you yeah he didn't last long by it's true he did not last long let's just check Leon he's seven right okay that's not going to go away in a hurry unless he you know snuffs it through infant mortality although he is past the best years for that however he is part of the Christian defensive pact against me so eh right well I guess we're Ooh, Poland is back on the menu uh, currently actually let's right so Poland do you say Poland ooh, currently has 8 million wars Oh, okay, right, so I can claim, like, a lot of things, but I can claim Poland. Right, let's just check, right, partly because he's got 8 million things. Right, anyway, let's declare war on him. So is that him being a member of the Defensive Pact against you? Uh, that's a good point. Yes, it is. Let's not declare war on Poland. <sighs> Tempting though it is. The Polish revolt, however... <laughs> The Polish revolt, though, is not going to be part of the defensive fight against me. But of course, they don't hold the crown of Poland. They, they don't hold Poland. Most deduction. Yes. And apparently, you can't claim anything for yourself. No. But, yes. but I do have a spare barony if that's what I want to do yes, with it. Don't be having landed. Right, maybe I wait a little bit for that Polish revolt to die down, in fact, and see if there's someone else I want to go to war with that's not part of the defensive pact against me. Anyway. Right, Fortress of Timbuktu to the. Uh, because I kind of want. My vassal levies to not my vassal levies to be maximised at the point where I go and fight. Stay down. Uh, stick it up in your Jotan. Stay <laughs> tuned. Uh, let's try it. You've got any claims on there, though? Um, well, my plan here is basically to wait till my vassal levies are um, um, that they stop. My vassals have stopped complaining about the levies being raised too lot, and then um, see where's not in the defensive pact that's sensible to go to war against. Which is about now, right? So I've got about sixteen thousand troops and a few more from my domain. Um, Anyway, I've got a reasonable number. So let's go into the good old defensive pact view. Is there anywhere that is sensible that. So, what about the petty kingdom of Orkney, which is astonishingly not in the defensive pact against me? Oh, I don't have a claim anymore because that's one of the bits I lost with. My. Right, so what about Brythonia? Do I. I bet that's because I don't have any claims. Alright. Okay, I've also got a non-aggression pact. Fine. I'm cheating, basically. So. France. What about France? France is currently not completely terrifying, possibly because it's mostly at war with the Caliph of Thingy. Do I have any good claims against France? So I can claim Berry, which at least is nicely geographically proximate to my territory. And that's the only duchy I can claim. Yeah, okay, let's do this. Oh, it'll cost me a hundred piety. I think my position on this is eh, okay. Go to war with France. Let's say, Dave. 
yoink. So, okay, where are you going? I'm going to Provence. Where's Provence? Obviously, I know in a rough sense where Provence is. Okay, they're heading east. So, right. Let's zoom out a bit. What about you? Okay, well, let's try going and besieging those bits there. I can raise some fleets at some point. Have we got over here? Congratulations, everybody, but everybody is in the wrong sodding place. So, right. Okay, that's due to the coast. We've got lots of fleets, that's nice. Uh, oh my god, Ireland's... I did at least manage to get a Viceroy of Ireland who, you know, whose capital's on the coast, so hooray for me, I guess. to the next county which will be less hopeless I will get to engage no I don't get to engage some Frenchmen the Frenchmen get to run away fine whatever okay uh, fact, let's find you let's watch you right there Let's find somebody else. Okay, no, let's not find somebody else. Let's okay. I can't avoid the fight, therefore. Reconsider. Let's put in. You get Captain Speedy. And you get to run over here. Under the circumstances, we also raise our personal levies stick. Okay, right, the right person is in fact in charge. I get you going over here. Let's turn time down just a bit. Oh, me. Maybe if you can hang on long enough till people get there, but it's not looking great. Okay, 
Yes, I know I've got a beeping state, but I'm also trying not to lose this wall. Right. Well, my centre is kind of collapsed. Can you hold it together for long enough to get meaningful? No, I doubt it. I can always, of course, white piece if desperate. Right. I'm now trying to get to retreat, which at least has kind of worked, but that's lost me quite a lot of war score. you together. <sighs> My fleet's not big enough. Fine. Can I raise some more fleets? Yes, but also not enough. What are we doing here? We're besieging a 6.5 fort. Okay. France, I wasn't paying attention. To try and take the Duchy of Berry. Because right. I can. <laughs> or thought I could. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, as soon as I got within sighting distance of the French army, I couldn't run away because they had um, uh, presumably organisers too. Do anything with them because they're in full retreat. Yes. States, well. So of course your army is rather more scattered than theirs is because your empire is more scattered than theirs. Yes. Well, they have Africa. It's in Africa, but yeah. Um, Horeo won the Battle of Albi. They have one remaining soldier. It's the one. Right. So that's plain. Ideally, yes, you'd find somewhere. Slightly defensible. Okay, that's. Yeah, maybe don't do that. 
maybe walk into that which is also mountains. Right, let's go into the mountains. Um, right, that's it. Well, once we get there I'll rearrange because at the moment I've got my speed boots guy in which is what we want. Nonetheless, the mountains are probably a good place to keep your armies until you've got them all, re all together. Yes. I might have to watch for some of my boats coming in. Right, so there we are. We're besieging Foy. Right, Berna is the right guy for that flank. Sigmund is not the right guy for this flank. And put your Adolf there. Right, so where is my boat? There is that boat. Let's stop you on the coast so that I don't drop you straight into Alby with a ton of people. Yeah, let's try and make my offspring diligent. Thank you for saying I'm holding a knob on his under siege. I never would have guessed it. So I think, I think I pull you lot off besieging this random place and onto some ships. You're on the ferry service. You, however, are on the Meander gently into the mountains. At that point, I might even have enough strength to meander gently out of the mountains, but you know, we'll see. I think I go and take on that army before they get some reinforcements. Because I've got. Is that planes that they. Mm. Yeah. My plan is to leave them there to cheer up for a little bit and then send them off to this lot who are um, Let's go. 
okay, I'm a little less well than I'd hope with my convincing advantage numbers, but you know, steps right, that's more like it. Right, I mean at minus three percent more war score. Right, you lot. Shove you on a ship. Ship you to the bond. Right, let's glue you lot together. And well, let's send you off to bury on the grounds that in A in getting the target area is much better and B um, it's closer to a relatively large contiguous area of France. So let's make the lights flash slightly faster. Um, right, let's try rough or proud Cruel arbitrary Pratt. Probably. Okay, let's. Okay, arbitrary, fine, that's not great. As long as I get all my airs breeding enthusiastically, it's not too bad. At least I'm reinforcing nicely while I'm in my territory. Right. Where are you going? Well, let's see if I can persuade any of my heretic advisors to convert. You're not a heretic. You are not a heretic. You're probably a heretic, but you're quite a good steward, so I don't care. Right, well. Okay, uh, under the circumstances, let's insert you back in there and ship you off there so I can avoid the 4,000 strong army that's over there. Okay. Are you going back to Narbonne? Because I can probably besiege faster than you. Actually, does Narbonne? No, 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 no. Those are the things I want. That's what I want. Right. Well, let's spend some of my money to improve Narbonne's fortifications for the next time this happens. I think what I do is I try and win this siege then I either split my army or send my army back down here. I think what I do is I split my army. Um, but I'll leave 12,000, nearly 13,000 up here first of all on the grounds that that will give me a big bonus to getting the siege done in less than geological time. And so you lot can come to shore here. So you lot. 
that. Mediterranean ferry service problems. Right, so, so I assume my war score is ticking down. Yeah, because he controls very. So, right, anyway, let's glue you lot together and keep besieging things. Woo. It's the best. It's a region I don't know very well. I know most of, I know a lot more about, you know, what was notionally the kingdom of Aquitaine, uh, because part of that's my father's specialist history subject. They have pictures and everything. Come on, win the goddamn siege. Ooh, we have gone positive, I suspect that is because, yeah, we've lost the negative penalty. So, like, let's go and create a new unit. Uh, do, 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 do. New unit. Small group there besieging some of the small things like bells and so on. Deal. Uh, I have inherited the kingdom of Portugal. Right. Kingdom of Portugal. The kingdom of Portugal is compact and bijou. Uh, Do not like me very much. But you're a heretic. Um. Okay, you hate me less, but you are like 800 years old. Eh, you're also 800 years old. Let's give you the voice royalty and hope that it's okay. Can't ask for religious conversion from vast direct vessels like that at this point. So, right. Okay, you should get that before, and this is uh, ooh. river crossing penalty. Can we? Nope, 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 you stay there. Still get a roof crossing penalty. Fine, let's meander around like three sides of a sodding triangle. I think that shouldn't get me a crossing, river crossing penalty now. Right, now I don't get a river crossing penalty. Right, fine. Okay. 
I should really look into Gertrude von Spockheim because I'm sure she's been like back and forth from my court like several times and I'm wondering if she's murdering all her husbands. Um, I might be wrong. You've got a commander with strength three. You might as well put a state in front of your army. At least it will be more aggressive. Though his wing is kind of doing quite well for reasons that I don't understand. Positive battle score, and one battle that it, two battles that are more than five percent. So right, that's going to be okay. I just need to, you know, rack up some uh, thingy score now, and that should be okay. I can dismiss those fleet levies, which will help a little bit. To Chateauhall. Chateauhall. Right. So my niece becomes a grey eminence. There we are. Probably leave you lot back together. Although I might at this rate have to go and prize that lot out of thingy again, but again I can take advantage of the larger numbers to improve my siege speed a bit. This time I can probably just cut my army in half. And that will be enough and that will work. Hopefully. I mean, you keep going back to Narbonne and, you know, like you have all the rest of Aquitaine. There is a lot of Aquitaine that you could be besieging, but you're picking this bit for reasons. Right, let's assault that. That's... And let's assault that. Okay, so, split in half. Alright, let's take you. And march you down there. You get to go there. Right. Off you go. Then you can besiege door. And we're back into the bits that I've actually heard of. Tour, Chinon, Amboise, and Beaulieu. Amboise, I think that was uh, Amboise, uh, possibly not. I think there's an Amboise that's near a front, uh, Paris, but possibly uh, in Abbot of Amboise. Uh, but Chinon, um, I don't think it's the bishopric that's so interesting as so much as the castle. Oh dear, they've buggered off. Where are you going? You're going to Limousin. Where is Limousin? Right, let's see. Right, so you lot. Let's shove you back over there. Where are they going? Uh, to La Marche. Right, well, actually, let's short circuit a bunch of this stuff and send you back over there. Because I'm pretty sure you're going to try and receive that stuff back. That's fine. I have plans. But I think Chinon has a castle that's based off Crack de Chevalier. Um, the famous uh, Crusader castle in uh, the Holy Land.
Hmm. Well, I'm not sure that was the best use of their time, as such. <laughs> right, you lot, sort off over there. And get on with helping besieging people. Oh yeah, one thing of course I could do. Don't have any prisoners? How disappointing. I mean, Tours isn't a bad city. I prefer Poitiers. Um, and occasionally you can get off the TGV there, which makes it quite useful. Poitiers is where Claire and I have a long standing animosity for because it hid its railway station. Oh yeah, the real so so most of the town is up on the on 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 the hills, and the railway station is down approximately eight million steps, or worse, when you're coming from the train station, it is up about eight million steps to anywhere that is remotely sensible within. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful city though, and um, fantastic, fascinating set of churches there. Um, yeah great places to eat but yes the train station is annoyingly placed and it is practically impossible to find off the ring road my son my niece you must be joking <laughs> and so now his wife has snuffed it alright let's see if we can arrange a good marriage for him. No. Can we arrange a betrothal for him? No? Okay, right, fine. You can do your own bloody thing. But not, and this is important, marrying your niece, because I'm pretty sure that this way lies madness. plan is to assault Chino and then nip next door and kick that army again who are busily trying to besiege somewhere back but neglecting the fact that they are sitting next to an army that is nearly three times as strong as them uh, nearly, sorry, nearly four times as strong as them and uh, this is unlikely to go well for them in the medium term even if they get 27 troops as reinforcement. Right, we have besieged Shino. Right, let's sit next door. Oh, someone's besieged Perigur. Apparently there's an Aquitanian revolt, I assume that's against the kingdom, because I don't have a message saying, excuse me, oh dear, you have a pedant revolt again. I assume there's some kind of algorithm that decides whether the peasant revolt is against the empire or against the kingdom, <laughs> um, well, or the duchy, or... or white, so, uh, uh, so, off we go, back next door, well, you know, you've just given us another big whack of war score, like 8%, so, you know, states. Well, you can try besieging somewhere in my kingdom with like a thousand troops. I just don't think it's going to go very well. Are you going to take your n not quite a thousand troops and those 460 troops? that are marching across there and those 24 troops that have just come into view and try to besiege Narbonne with them. I mean, you can try it if you'd like, but you'd be a giant otter. Aha, uh -huh, and was 100% more score. Release the otter. Yes. Right. Miss. Right, 
so my threat is now 64% my vassals are whinging again the price of decadence the ruling dynasty of the Lahara kingdom has been overthrown by the zealous and hard living tribesmen of the Somnate dynasty the decadent kingdom has been toppled freeing any vassals from their bondage to the unworthy Maharaja with the kingdom gone time will tell if a worthy dynasty will take up the task of the authority bloated fools, whatever but so, right, my kingdom is looking a little bit more healthy, although possibly my vassal relations aren't. Let's just check, do I have, oh, I've got lots of minor titles for it. it's probably time to go through the thrilling dance called Can I Improve the Opinion of uh, My Vassals? can't give her a title yet because she's considering but it's just going to be that right fine you currently love me you currently love me even with vassals raised you don't love me but let's see if we can give you an honorary title you don't love me either Right, uh, what about you? Right, click. You've already got an honorary title. Fine. Right, you can keep swaps and that will improve things a bit. Right. So Excellent, you've converted. So, how are we doing on factions? We still have the independence faction. Okay, you are the Duke of there. Right, let's see if we can improve things somewhat by improving diplomatic relations and making you a happier vassal. Yay. So, um, do I have any prisoners that I can do really badly at getting prisoners? Well, let's turn time a bit so that we can get there. Okay. Oh. If you're nicking bits off layout, I can only be pleased with that. What the hell are you? Uh, Florent de Porto, my kinsman. He becomes a grey element. Eh, not bad, but you know. So there's an independent duchy there. Things are popping out of the Holy Roman Empire. I don't think they're having a good time at the moment. Um, So how are my levies doing? Yeah, a bit under strength, and of course, the numbers will go up as I cheer my vassals up for. Right, let's hold a summer fair because we do. We're not now completely strapped for cash. Um, let's also see if we can improve any of our stuff at all. Let's do we need a bit more for construction? Let's squeeze out a bit more tolerance, which will probably help things a bit. And then I think we want noble customs and legalism. Right, we gain some prestige from having had a summer fair. Go us. Right, let's go and see while I'm waiting for my military boss name to increase whether there's anyone that I can 
form an alliance with. Definitely add a kind of resistance to this. Yeah. Probably not ask the Mongol Empire. But Aquitanian War of Prince Blades came on England on King Murray the Ruler. Okay, go for it. If England's really that weak. Is England really that weak? They have 11,000 sticks. How many does my King of Aquitaine have? Okay, presumably he's a giant state, so... Join more because I can. If if Prince Thingy isn't landed, I do have currently have a spare holding, and I could get all of England. So Sorry. let's just briefly check. I have sixteen thousand troops. England doesn't have sixteen thousand troops. How much does your vassal who's currently in big about six thousand? Right, so it sounds like he probably needs a hand. It sounds like he probably so needs a hand. if it's a war that you want one... It is a war I would like one. Let's offer to join the war. Claim England. Yes. <laughs> right? Oh. Of course someone wants to be there at the same time. Uh, I have a plan. My plan is to technically join the war. Yeah. Go and do the one you actually care about the outcome of. Yes. But assuming that my vassal lets me join in the war. <laughs> right, so you are... Right, okay. Fine, you're at the wrong sodding end of Africa from where he my troops are trivially available or at least the troops that I plan to send right there we are let's send you over there right let our enemies tremble so Prince Blay so he is uh, vassal to Saint-Ange, who is vassal to Poitou, who is vassal to Viceroy of Aquitaine, who is vassal to me, and he's landed. He's already got a barony, and the barony is, is, is in my territory. So excellent, right, this is great. Um, right, who the hell are you? Right, you're Fez. Right, of course you are. Right, can we raise the armies of Aquitaine on the coast? This is important. Yes, we can. Right. Um, right where's my armies? Right, so. Um, actually, can we raise any of them there? No, we can't. I did, should have thought about that earlier. Alright. Let's control click to raise more vassals. Right, you lot. I think we just horn in on into England. Right, get on some ships. Let's have you to land me. No, let's actually set you to Aqua 10. Because we have Aqua 10. You know, let's take advantage of the fact that we can do this. That we actually have 
some holdings over here, apart from the picture, which we'd quite like back at some point. Uh, no, 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 right, let's... County, kill. Right, let's insert you in there. Ship you off in there. Let's actually uh, say so let's in fact go over here. Ship you over here and stop off on route. Oh so yeah, then we have you lot. Yes, you lot. Right. Get your bikes over there. These liege levy fleets. Raise more liege levy fleets. Go okay, bugger, that is not enough. Liege levy fleet. And contemplate what to do about this. about this is we get okay abort 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 let's in fact gang everyone up in Ireland right. so that's what that lot you aren't doing anything sensible Oh, 7,000 troops, that's rather more than I thought you had. Mm -hmm. right, you have arrived in the Gulf of Cadiz, but you don't have an army yet, because they're slower. Right. Negotiator, she can get married, we can call it allies. Let's call in Duke Thingy, whoever Duke Thingy is. Let's unpause because that will make things actually happen. Right. Get into the sea. Improve my technology spread rate a bit. Uh, while we're waiting, not military, I oh, want you. Uh, I want to improve my military organisation. You lot have arrived in the Canaries. I'm just going to march you somewhere around them. There we are, I've joined in your war. I have no idea why. Which is a tiny bit worrying. Um, let's clear you all together. Right. 
you should miss an event for an object and then tell me what the object is. You should instantiate the object first. Right, I think that's large enough that I can watch them over there and start them besieging somewhere. Um, it's hilly, so you know it could be worse, but it could be better. There aren't actually that many mountainous bits in the UK. No. I mean, even Scotland's basically all hills. No, yeah. Right, let's just check who we've got, what we've got. So let's. Yeah, I suppose for for military purposes, you don't actually care about how pointy the pointy bits are. You care about how flat the flat bits are. Hmm. I mean, like, yes, you could go and piss around on the fells in, you know, Northumbria or, or um, you know, Yorkshire, or you could not. You know, that seems like a good idea. The thing that I know that they don't is that I can get aha. A three thousand strong army in support, uh, which will be here hopefully shortly. Right, horse. Right, where are you not? I think my official position is right now, I don't care. Shut up about conversions, I don't care right now. I'm busy trying to have a war. A war in which my vassal is conspicuously failing to be useful, but whatever. And I can, of course, still raise my personal levies, which I haven't done yet. Yes, right, well, I've lost a thing to that. Whatever. Uh, as soon as I get some more troops here, I might go and attack them. Because they are in planes. And I'm not. So if I get some reinforcements and then wander around and say hello to them. Aha, right, we're back at a no-score draw. Although I did lose quite a lot of troops at the end there. Still, I do have like 3,000 more coming on the ferry. Still got a way to go though. I've been to Whithorn when we're on holiday in the borders. I'm pretty sure it was wet and miserable. Oh, we're back to a no score draw again, in that we've both uh, just won our next sieges. Woo hoo, right, let's actually assault that. So, let's. Move on to somewhere else that's hilly in the hope that this will. Woohoo, I'm 4% in credit. Waha. Right, go me. Right, so now I'm in a situation where I don't quite know. Oh, right. So you lot can come into port in my nice new bits of nicked territory. That bug by putting the input focus in that window and then putting the pin into that window. Right, so which border do you think you're in? Okay, so Tuscany, 
Right, that battle, that war is not going well. Right, fair enough. They're going to try and invade my capital. So long as I keep them away from the English, we'll be doing fine. Right, 4,000 troops. Let's march you in there. Glue you together. Go, who the hell are you and why are you commanding my troops ever? You're terrible. Let's see if we can besiege Jedbra. Right, okay. Where are you not going? Where are you not? You're trying to go to Northumberland. Well, I think I should nip over there. And I wait minus 7%. I've squashed their centre, that's nice. Right, that's taken us up to 25%. We'll score, that's quite nice. Let's try and take back some of the things they've besieged off me and then saunter vaguely downwards. As we besiege Burp. Carlisle and Penrith. Right. Oh, we've got a pedant revolt, isn't that nice? Mm. Dismiss my personal fleet and solve my economic problem a bit by doing that. Because personal levies are expensive. Right, that's 28% more score. Uh, and we're reinforcing because we're in Aquitaine now. Excellent. All right, let's. So you're going over there. Yeah, right. well, there's slight worry that having all 5,000 troops done it, that's just one that we do for the next next Yes. Right, okay. Come on, squeeze out the last bit of Carlisle. You can do this, there's only 361 people in there. Well done. Now you can besiege Penrith. Siege Penrith. Right, let's go and squish that lot because they're annoying me. Right. Of course, they do have a defensive advantage, but I do have quite a lot more troops. We're particularly nibbling away at their left flank, which is for the best. At least our arms aren't exactly identical. They're just similar. With rotated lions. Right, 61% more score. Right. Let's march on into somewhere that's definitely England so that we can start dealing with the bit where it says Murray rules England. Yeah. 
It's like, what are we besieging now? We are besieging Appleby. Right, well, I have no idea where Appleby is. I hope it's nice. And then we've got Loath and Cartmel. Uh, Cartmel. Oh, no, sorry, Cartmel is um, on in the southern end of the Lake District. Loath and Cartmel. I have no idea. This, this is not a territory I know at all well. I mean, occasionally I've passed through this part of, of in order to get to Glasgow. Yeah, so Appleby's on your right while you're doing that, and Cartmel is on your left. Okay. That's nice. I think my plan here is to win at least one siege and then go back and stop them besieging that lord. I don't have quite enough people to want to split the army at this point. Or at least I don't have enough relative to them to want to split the army. Because then that's going to leave leave me with not enough troops to besiege so I might as well just zigzag around a bit right, let's go and find my most uncheered vassal Besiege Appleby. All I can think of is Mr. Appleby from um, Blackadder One. Go on, you can do it. There's only a few defenders left. You can go for a little walk through Cumberland and you know find some more people. That'd be nice. We have besieged Appleby. That's quite a big bump, is that? Because, yeah, hooray. Having besieged somewhere that's actually in England, I now don't get the, the, the thing of, of the King of England thinking he rules all of England anymore. Because <laughs> the problem with invading Galloway is, um, you may be able to detect this, it's not in England. You've got someone with skill six leading your army is this a good idea i just you know want to know right that's taking us up to 89 percent right, let's take us back over there so right okay we're not topped out on battle score yet which is good. Uh, and our battles, yeah, we've definitely got battles worth more than 5%. And let's. Yeah, 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 Teutonic Order, whatever. Let's send you lot over there. And send you lot over there. And. I'm going to need to ship you back out to Spain to deal with my pedant revolt. And possibly to deal with my ally. Or not. You can leave four people there, I just don't think it's going to do you much good. Siege. It'll be fine. Let's 
thing is up to 97% more score. Brilliant. Right, well, off we go on our trip back to Galloway to stop them besieging back anywhere useful in Galloway. Possibly with a little sarcastic note that says this didn't work the last two times, so I'm not quite sure what you think was going to be different this time. Um, there we go. Hundred percent water school. Excellent. All right, there we are. You're landed. You're my vassal. Release the otter. Not bark, and we are going to go to. We've got some territory in kind of Portugal, so I can't hear it. Yeah, but it's a heck of a long walk. So is everywhere. I think, I think here is the least long walk because then I can just nip across a couple of counties. Everyone's drawing a defensive pact against me, which is not the most surprising thing in the world. Do I have actually any nice territory? No, I still have one proxy of the thing. Do I? Oh, I've got a prisoner. I've got the Duke of Galloway. Let's liberate the Duke of Galloway and improve our finances by approximately a bit more than 10%. Uh, right, there we go. Okay, I'm 99.7% threatening. You just took England. What do you expect? I didn't expect to be quite that threatening. You know. Aquitaine is looking quite big now. Yes, yes, I'm prepared to believe that it is looking quite big now. Um... Zoom out a bit so I can actually see things at a sensible scale. Um, right, what was I going to look at? Oh, yeah, I was going to look at my notional levies. Okay, yeah, which are going to be quite a bit larger. And of course, currently, the King of England quite likes me on account of the. Oh, what a shame they lost. Excuse me. Just, you know. Meander back over there. And off we go to there. Yeah, I'm still remembering the bit in the crusade where, you know, accidentally my fleet turned up in the canaries. Right, you lot. Get in there. you not can go straight to friendly territory. I say straight, I'm mean, you know, straight up the Atlantic coast of Portugal. It's a nice place, it's delightful, you'll love it there. Um, I mean, obviously it's a nice place to live, but it's not necessarily a nice place to sail. Well, not all the time. Probably not too bad in June though. So is that 
mountainous. Unfortunately, that's only hills, and I do have nearly twice as many people. So, right, you lot dismiss you and dismiss you. Okay. This is important to the people that are actually fighting the Petent Revolt. Right. Oh look, we won the Petent Revolt. Bye bye pedants. I dismiss you. Right, so obviously my vassals are kind of unhappy because I've raised all their vassals or my people for too long. Let's check that we have in fact dismissed everybody. We have. Uh, income is okay. Uh, what have we got in our pockets? Uh, how are we for minor titles? We are current. Oh, we don't currently have a brawny out of knowledge, right? Except we can. Let's put the court chaplain in there. Ooh, hooray, he's acquired some flanking expertise, that's nice. And our Sentra is also a cavalry leader, that's pretty good. Okay. So, Mr. Bond. <laughs> fine. No, not fine. Let's go. Right. invite a siege leader to court because I'm quite bored of never having anyone who can bloody well do a siege in less than geological time. Yes. Okay. State. Okay. Right. Is there? I'm just, you know, asking for a friend. I might do. No. Well, I'll start a new holding building at the point when I go to a war and I need to land someone and I can't land them. Because <laughs> at the moment, of course, lots of us have good claims on stuff. Oh look, everyone's drawing the defensive pact against me. I'm not at all sure why. Let's hold a feast to, you know, cheer people up a bit. Uh, Teutonic Order in Novgorod. Right, that's nice. So. Right, let's patronise some. Right, off we go. Let's hold a feast. Apparently I'm a lecturer, an elector of France. Let's approve high crown authority in France because I think it's a law. Although perhaps I shouldn't because it means I can't go to war with them. But you know. to discuss something with someone in the garden <laughs> that never seems to do anything as such right let's 
imprison thingy because just is much better than arbitrary. See if we can improve relations a bit with England. Damn it, now I can't move you for six months just because I've put you down somewhere. Right, you need a new guardian. Continue cheering up my vessels by dint of not going to war for you know like ten whole minutes. Let's make the lights flash a bit fast. Um. And also get my threat level below ninety five percent. Um so that holy orders from my home religious group don't come knocking at my door if I you know, pick the wrong person. Yes. It's weird, because of course a lot of my claims and a lot of wars I'd want to do were to get back some of my territory, but that will still increase my threat hugely. Yes, because your threat is not only capped positively at 100, but capped negatively at zero. So it didn't plummet way below zero when you lost a large lump of your territory. Yes. It just stayed at zero, but then... You're a state. At least we don't have two Aquitaines at the moment. <laughs> that was pretty much your first act of... Oh, excellent. English Witch and De Jure War over Oxford. Well, I oh, prefer you to go for... Your no. I prefer you to go for the whole of, you know, Oxford, but, you know, whatever. Let's just check. 9,000. How's my Duchess of the Witch? Yeah, no, that's fine. I infer from this that Sicily is a bit tough. <laughs> because there's also Dejure claims on things from Sicily. Well, yeah, it's certainly going to be tougher than Monducci. And England doesn't have that many troops at its disposal yet. Well, it's got nearly 10,000, but yeah. Right. I think my plan is really to run up to. Um, you know, the point where I get sort of bad uh, board and um, and then stop for the night uh, well hopefully next time I appoint a commander uh, I can oh look right, Oxford is now back in the uh, Aquitanian Empire oh I've got a new uh, Tuma of Aquitaine. Right, well, I think I can do better than Tuma. 
say. Empire of Aquitaine. Nominate successor. Deal. I'm down one commander, but fortunately, I have <laughs> Prince Roger is lying around. Prince Roger is lying around. Let's hold a feast because it's time for feasts. Again. I think by the time my vassal levies have sorted themselves out, I will also be below 95% threat, probably. Okay, right. You can nick my... Okay, we're up to 28,000 troops, which is, you know, getting respectable. And you had for Iraq. I'm getting a bit old, I might not make it till the next crusade. I'd quite like there to be a crusade that I can participate in that isn't, you know, which are against me, but that may not work. What well, you just point as a commander? <laughs> yes. Well, he's a commander, you can stick him in front of any arms that might get squished. Yeah. Oh dear, I'm down two commanders. Uh, so, right, no. Oh, right, maybe he just, did he just need to depart your... I think he just did, yes. Well, whatever. So, right, let's... So, I've got a couple of years before he turns up, but I probably shouldn't go to war in those. So I think the thing is, I run my time up to just before, so to the, so to January uh, 1340, and um, we can... then pause and then save and stop.
had a thought, what was the thought? It vaguely thought it passed me. Oh well. Yeah, I don't go to war in that interim because I need that time for my levies to recover. Um, and then I don't really have time from the time my levies recover until he turns up to do anything useful. Ooh, uh, iconic portrait of Emperor Telegon the Wicked. Do I have any good stuff like that in my treasury? I do not currently have dynastic paintings. Let's paint paint the portrait of my ancestor. But, uh, anyway, so yes, oh yes, that's what I remember I was going to do. I was going to... if there are any bits that needed proselytization. Um, okay, yes, and then we can lessons. Ah, oh, yes, of course, yeah, at this point. Improve my relations with the King of England. It's not that he doesn't like me, but you know, I think we could cheer him up a bit. Right, let's hold a summer fair. Uh, are there any factions? Yeah, but they're not trying very hard at the moment. Economically, we're doing fine. Right, well, I need to wait like another six months before I can move you, probably. Right, let's. We have summer fair. There we are. Let's cheer people up. A new king of Brittany. New king of Brittany. Right, let's get him religiously converted, which will cheer him up a bit. Right. Right, so. Thank you, he's my heir. I don't care that he's unmarried because he's the wrong one. Let's go and see what we are, what is going on. I have a succession problem. I do. So, because he's voting for himself, let's uh, say. Can we? We can't demand her conversion. Can we? Right. Let's 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 go back over here. Let's see. So you could. Oh right. Yeah. I could nominate Alien or my niece, who's only slightly terrible. It's pretty decent and it's the right religion. Or I could nominate Roger, who is going to try and take over my things by force. Maybe he'll <laughs> stop if I 
I don't know if he'll stop. He might like you a bit more, which might make him stop, but I suspect he won't. So you may have to kill him, but like until he dies, he's a perfectly good successor. Yeah. At least it will mean that you're that if you if you do die soon, your successor won't have a Roger problem. Because it will be Roger. Yes. So I don't think he will be a terrible nominee. So there's one person who's voting for Balisor, who's my son. Now, it's a bit early to say how he's turning out, but let's give that a go because he is at least of my dynasty. But let's just go and check who I've got as. So, okay, right, yeah, that's fine. I'm pretty sure I have. I certainly have one good thing going for me, which is a fracking great amount of diplomacy and um, some stuff so Try and get my vassal to convert. I mean, my councillor to convert. Right. Oh no, he really likes me. Jihad fails. Wow, state. There are definitely worse people. Seek independence. Uh, right. Right, let's lose ten gold and make my husband delighted but not ecstatic. I mean, I suppose it's not too. Oh dear, I'm ill. Still. I'm only running up to the end of the year. And it's probably best to know whether I've uh, snuffed it or not. <laughs> really? Really, 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 really. Right, let's invite you to court. You are even the right religion and everything. Right. Right, let's demand that my courtier abandons his vile heresy. Hooray! He's at least pretended to abandon his vile heresy. I still have the ambition to improve my martial ability. I've had this ambition for like 30 years and I've improved one port point of martial ability. Presumably because strange little old men wandering through, you know, looking for opportunities to laugh at emperors tend to laugh at men instead. Hmm. Um, 
Ooh, I could spend a little bit of time looking at what's happened to all my siblings. Uh, two of my half-brothers died a natural death. Uh, my sister died after a period of illness. One of them died of the plague. And one of them died of pneumonia. Uh, yay, I guess. I'm not going to hold a feast, because that's probably going to get a bit weird. So, are there any technologies that we can usefully invest in? Not currently. Oh yeah, how are our city walls coming along? Right, we have perfectly adequate city walls. Brilliant. Right. Is there anything that we really want to build? Mm. Not really. Let's hang on until maybe we can squeeze some crusading stuff out of things in a couple of years' time. Right, oh, it's January. Uh, 1340. Uh, we have just over a month to go until my useless son or cousin or whatever decides to come and try and take my stuff. I'm going to save and quit. The year is 1340.